Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Wisdom and morality. Tobit, Judith, Wisdom, and Zira. Hello again, esteemed scholars and enthusiastic learners. As we venture further into the vast landscapes of biblical literature, today we spotlight four books from the Deuterocanonical Collection. Each of these texts, shimmering with profound themes of wisdom and morality, invite us to profound reflection and discernment. The world of biblical literature is not merely about historic events or spiritual mandates. It's a profound exploration of human nature, our relationship with the divine, and the ethos that defines civilizations. And nowhere is this more evident than in these four books. Our first destination is the Book of Tobit, a work of literary art. Tobit is more than just an episodic tale set against the backdrop of the Assyrian exile. It's a vivid canvas illustrating the intertwined tenets of piety, charity, and familial duty. Imagine being Tobit, a man steadfast in his righteousness, even in foreign lands where his faith is not the norm. His acts of kindness, especially the burial of the dead, might seem ordinary but are profound acts of rebellion against the prevailing cultural norms. Such actions underscore the essence of morality, doing what's right even when it's not popular or easy. Tobit's journey, marred by personal trials like blindness, also introduces us to the angel Raphael, a guiding force and protector. The narrative interweaves themes of endurance, faith, and God's mysterious yet ever-present providence. It asks us to reflect. In our darkest hours, how do we perceive divine intervention? Do we see it as a literal angelic presence, as in Tobit's case, or as symbolic moments of grace? Our next chapter is the book of Judith. Now, this is a tale of unparalleled valor and strategic wisdom. Judith, a widow, stands as a beacon of hope for her besieged city of Betulia. But her story isn't just about physical courage. It's a narrative that dives deep into the waters of spiritual resilience. Through Judith, we learn about the potent combination of faith and action. In her audacious plan to save her city, she doesn't just rely on divine intervention. Instead, she becomes the very vessel of it. With unwavering trust in God, she showcases human initiative, reminding us that faith isn't passive. It's an active collaboration with the divine. Then, we transition to the luminous corridors of the wisdom of Solomon. This isn't merely a book, it's a meditation. A contemplation on life's most profound questions. What is true wisdom? How does one differentiate it from mere knowledge? Where the righteousness and immortality intersect? King Solomon, renowned for his unparalleled wisdom, imparts insights that pierce the veil of our worldly existence. Through poetic verses and philosophical musings, he urges us to recognize the transient nature of material pursuits. In Jack's supposition, he illuminates the eternal brilliance of divine wisdom which transcends time culture, and even vast. Lastly, we delve into the vast ocean of Sira, also known as Ecclesiasticus. 
If one were to seek a guide on life, Sirach may just be it. It's a tapestry of teachings, a mosaic of reflections, and a manual on human conduct. Zirat doesn't just enumerate virtues, it provides actionable insights on imbibing them. The text offers guidance on navigating complex societal and familial terrains, from the intricacies of friendships and the nobility of work, to the challenges of speech and the humility and seeking wisdom, Sirach is a treasure trove. Drawing parallels between these four books, we find common threads. Each text, while rooted in its time, speaks to universal human experiences. They reflect on moral dilemmas, explore human virtues, and prod us to understand the delicate balance between divine providence and human agency. Another notable theme is the representation and role of women. From Tobit's wife, Anna, who embodies perseverance, to Judith's heroism, and Zirak's reflections on the ideal wife and mother, these books offer a rich tapestry of female experiences, roles, and values. One might wonder why delve deep into these books today. The answer lies in their timeless relevance. In an age where moral compasses often waver, these texts anchor us. They invite introspection, challenge our perceptions, and encourage us to be better versions of ourselves. As we conclude today's journey, remember that these texts are not mere stories or philosophical treatises. They are living testaments, echoing the challenges, hopes, and wisdom of generations past while offering insights for our present and future. Our upcoming explorations promise to be even more enlightening. We'll be diving deeper into the themes, narratives, and teachings embedded with these books. Until then, I invite each one of you to reflect, question, and embrace the wisdom these ancient yet ever-relevant facts offer. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. As we wrap up today's enriching journey through the deuterocanonical books of Tobit, Judith, Wisdom, and Sirach, we've uncovered treasures of ancient wisdom and moral quandaries that still resonate with us today. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of history, spirituality, and ethics. It has been a fascinating dive into the stories of steadfast faith, unexpected heroes, and the pursuit of wisdom. Tales that not only reflect the past, but also speak powerfully into our lives today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful discussions. And hit the bell icon to stay updated in our a series as we continue to delve into the depths of biblical literature and the timeless questions they pose. Next time, we'll take a closer look at the book of Baruch and additions to Daniel, where we'll navigate through history and prophecy, experiencing the depths of despair and the heights of divine justice. Have questions for any insight you'd like to share? Drop them in the comments below. We value your thoughts and look forward to unraveling more mysteries of these profound texts with you. And if you're seeking further understanding or a community to discuss these topics with, consider joining our extended study sessions where we break down each text and its implication for our modern world. Stay curious, keep questioning, and may our journey through the Diotor canonical books enrich your understanding of the past and inspire your path forward. Until our next session, keep the flame of wisdom burning bright and continue to reflect on the rich heritage that has shaped our collective morality. See you in the next episode.